Hey, what's going on guys, Zerok here, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the Steam Box. So, uh, there was an article released about, uh, it was released two days ago, three days ago now, and it was, um, by, it was an article released, and it's saying that iBuyPower is prepping to make a $500 high-end AMD-based Steam Box machine. Now, I am gonna be very, very honest in this video. So, let me start by saying, I'm not a big AMD fan. Now, although NVIDIA and AMD do have their flaws, I am much more supportive of NVIDIA because I've used a lot more NVIDIA computers, and I've had less problems from when I've fixed AMD and used AMD computers. So let me read you guys this article real quick, and you guys let me know what you think. So it says, although Valve Software has said that its Steambox concept, personal computers, will be available at different price points from different partners, no well-known PC makers have unveiled one, but it looks like the situation is changing, and changing in a good way iBuyPower, a boutique PC maker from the US, is working on an AMD-based Steam Box that will perfectly fit into the living room and will cost only $499. So before I continue reading on to the specs and shit of this, um, I wanted to tell you guys, this will run 10 times faster than any console out right now. The PS4 has nothing on this. The Xbox One has nothing on this. This will run much faster and almost like a computer in itself. So let me continue reading. The Steam Box from iBuyPower will be powered by a multi-core AMD processor and will be equipped with an AMD Radeon R9 270 graphics card, formerly a Radeon HD 7870 with 1280 Steam processors. It will have a 500GB hard drive, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth capability. The machine comes in a stylus gray box with built-in power supply until the... Um, with a built-in power supply unit that matches design of consumer electronics. So this will not offer a Blu-ray optical disk drive as well as Windows operating system. The personal computer will run Steam OS and will come with Steam controller for further convenience in the living room. So I will put a picture on the screen right now. And that is what the Steam Box will look like. It is a gray box with a red LED ring around it. It looks very, very nice. Um, it has a very cool look to it. And I think I'll enjoy it if I do end up picking it up. Um, I'm most likely going to pick up the PS4 still because that'll have obviously the releases, um, you know, that a lot of companies want and, um, you know, that'll have a lot of the main games that PC won't. I might also actually, instead of picking up the PS4, pick up the Xbox One because it has a better chance of lasting, in my opinion, because Xbox always has the more exclusive releases down the line that PS4 does not. So let me continue reading the article. The horsepower inside the iBuyPower Steam Box is considerably higher compared to that of the Microsoft Xbox One and the Sony PlayStation 4, but its price will be around $499. According to the manufacturer, the system should provide decent performance in video games optimized for Steam OS, therefore be comparable to a new generation video game console. iBuyPower claims that existing Steam for Linux games should run quite well at full 1080p resolution and 60 frames per second. The iBuyPower Steam Box will be available sometime in 2014. Officially, the firm will likely introduce the system during the Consumer Electronics Show earlier next year. So, my opinion on this whole thing is, why the fuck did you make it an AMD-based Steam Box? I hate AMD. Please make an NVIDIA-based one. Obviously, other companies will come along in the future and make it, but, um, you know, I really think the Steam Box will take over a lot of, uh, you know, markets. It will run Steam OS, and we'll have to see what that looks like. I don't even know what the controller looks like yet. I'll have to put a picture up on the screen if I can find one. It'll be there right now if I do find one. So, my opinion is the Steam Box will kill the console market if it is going to live up to what it's supposed to. If it can run a full Steam client and it offers like a party chat and shit like that, it will win the console war. And the reason why I say that is... It's Steam. Steam has a lot of power behind it and a lot of PC fans. And if you don't want to keep upgrading your PC, this may last you a couple years. This may last you down the road. And if it is upgradable, like many companies are saying it will be, this will last for God knows how long. You can keep updating it and all that stuff. It'll be like a personal PC, but with, but with not, uh, but without that price. So for five hundred dollars, you can get something that will run twice as fast as the PS4, and it'll be just about, you know, three hundred times better. So let me give you a, a reference point. So the Xbox One is twenty percent worse than the PS4. 
and the Steam Box is going to be 100% better than the PS4. So it'll go Xbox in the third spot, PS4 in the second spot, and Steam in the one spot based on the specs. Now, game-wise, who knows where this market will lead. This could lead to any number of things. And in my opinion, I really am going to enjoy that. So we'll see what happens from here on out with uh, the Steam Box. So more info will be released. Now, what do you guys think about iBuyPower releasing it first, though? Now, I have never really used anything by iBuyPower. I know a couple of my friends have computers through them, but uh, that's about it. And I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, and the graphics card in it is pretty strong, so we'll see what the graphics look like. Um, I feel like the Steam Box will compress a lot of the games, though, and I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy that. But we'll, we'll just have to see down the road what the Steam Box comes out as. Will it come out hard? Will it come out soft? Um, and that is going to be something I'm really looking into. So it does say that it will run a multi-core AMD processor. So, you know, that'll be an actual computer processor compared to what, like, the Xbox and the PS4 run, which is, like, a modified chip. And with that type of power, it'll run almost as if it's a computer. And I think it'll uh, it'll be very nice. Now, what do you guys think about the price point? $499. I think that, in my opinion, that's kind of a fair price. You know, it comes almost as if a low-end gaming computer, high-end console. And I think that's a definite fair price. Um, I don't know if they're going to be losing money or gaining money. I know, like, um, on last gen, PS4 would lose money on every, Sony, uh, every PlayStation they would sell. But they'd get it back because they'd sell so many. And um, that's kind of cool in my opinion. So I don't really know about this whole 1080p 60 frames per second. That's going to be very hard to judge. Will there be an optimal video setting? Will there be a way to change it? Um, I don't think you'll be able to fluctuate your um, display settings very much. Unless you can like change 1080p to 720p. Um, just in case like your TV doesn't go all the way up to 1080p. But I believe most TVs nowadays cope to 1080p. I wouldn't know. I don't really use a lot of TVs. I have two monitors in my room, and I think um, I think this will work very good. The fact that the one thing that'll kill this is if you're looking for an all-in-one entertainment system, Steambox will not be for you. It's uh, not gonna have a Blu-ray drive, and it's gonna run Steam OS. So we do not know if this will have a Netflix client or an HBO Go client or anything along those lines. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens and. Will it have, you know, some of the features that Xbox and PS4 have, such as a friends list? Obviously, that'll be one of the things uh, people will be concerned with. Will it have party chat? Will it have game chat? W will you have to play with, like, a totally different controller that no one's ever seen before? I don't think we'll have to see a lot of those struggles, and I believe the controller will be kept very simple along the line of um, the PlayStation 4, Xbox 360 controller. I don't know about the Xbox One controller. A lot of people don't like it, but we'll see how the Steam Box matches up to those consoles. And in my opinion, that'd be a great thing for a lot of people um, to have if you're looking for it all in one gaming machine. This is not an entertainment system at all. That is not what Steam is going for in the situation. They're looking for something that has never been done before and that is very, very strong. So, yes, all in just gaming systems have been done in the past with no extra features yes look at the xbox 360 when it first came out look at the n64 look at the ps2 all that shit was just all in one gaming consoles but it will not ever compare to what the steam box is trying to bring the steam box is trying to bring almost a pc like feel to the situation and i am going to really really look forward to this just because this could be the console that wins the console wars if it does offer entertainment things and to me if it does, that'll be amazing. You know how many people will buy the Steam Box and enjoy it for years to come? You know, it might even encourage people to switch over to PC gaming eventually. And um, it's just been very, very good. Uh, in my opinion, this will lead to a whole new generation of gamers and a whole new generation of... Um, ver uh, how do I want to say this? I don't even know the word that I'm looking for right now, but... Um, It'll change the way games are played. It'll change consoles and maybe PS4 and Xbox One are better companies than Steam. And if they follow in the footsteps of Steam trying to get their profits back, that could be astronomical in continuing video games. It, it'll be so versatile in the market that we might have some of the most powerful video game machines down the road if the Steam Box kills the PS4 and Xbox One. Now, do I believe it will do that? Not necessarily, but we don't know that yet. 
And if it comes out with the specs that I'm seeing, I'll be very, very happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been Zerok. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, Steam Box in the comment section below. And by the way, it is not going to be called the Steam Box anymore. It is now going to be known as the Steam Machine. That is what it is on the Steam website. So it's been Zerok, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe.